Hello lovelies. Well, this is April's tarot reading or intuitive reading and energy forecast. Well, it's going to be a bit of an up and down month. Um, the first week, I pulled out some cards for the first week. Some also fell out while I was shuffling, which I'll do afterwards. So the first week, We've got an uncertainty of how we're going to move forward. You know, everything is so up in the air. Which way forward am I going to go? I'm a little bit stuck. I feel a little bit bored with life. How am I going to move forward? And also recently, this also represents that our emotions have been up and down recently. We haven't been fully balanced. So we're literally just going with the flow forward, testing the waters. Shall I do this? Shall I do that? Shall I head in that direction? Shall I do this? Shall I change my job? Shall I change where I live? Shall I make some changes in my life? Um, all these th questions are coming through. But you've come down a long road and, you know, you've come, stepped off the path and come back on it. And you've learned lots in your life. This card also tells me that you are extremely connected above and you're actually in the flow, even though you may not feel like it at the moment. Um, but just be aware of those emotions. Just try and keep yourself really balanced. And that's a lot to do with the mind um, and the way you think about yourself and, and self-doubt, self-sabotage kicking in and all that. So... I really want to encourage you to talk yourself up. Um, so I also want you to know that you are divinely protected. So spiritually and everything, you're in the right place, exactly at the right place. We are clearing so much stuff at the moment. The whole of humanity is. And you are in exactly the right place where you are meant to be. And you are protected and supported by many, many beings that are up in, in the spirit world or, or in uh, multi-dimensions, I want to say now. But you're also being asked to prepare. So even though you may not feel like things are moving forward, um, get everything sorted. If there's, if there's a, like a chore type thing that you feel like, you know, you really don't feel like doing it, but you know you should, Get it done now while you're in this stage because this is all a time of preparation. Um, if you are needing help with something, then find, some, find someone who can help you. Um, whatever it is, whether it's someone who, I don't know, maybe you feel like you've got too much to do at home and you want, you want help with your, your domestic chores or um, someone you might think that or feel like that you, you just feel out of balance so you want to go and find a healer or, or, or someone who you can go and talk to or a doctor or a lawyer or whatever it is. But find that helpful person so that there is someone out there that wants to help you. This is all part of this preparation. Someone who will help you move forward. Remembering you are protected. You're divinely protected by many, many heavenly beings. And you've got to awaken. So, you know, you might have found that recently you've met new people and maybe even people that you already know and, and you just feel that you perhaps don't gel with some of them anymore. It's because you're changing. You may not even feel like you're changing, but you are changing. Everybody is. And everybody is frequency is changing, their vibrational pattern is changing, or their blueprint. And we are becoming more heart centered, more thinking about everything, uh, but it's connected to the heart. More about more more openly and widely thinking, I want to say. So thinking about what's happening with the world, perhaps what's happening um, in your family, but also your outer family, your friends, you know, um, 
what's happening on planet Earth, what's happening in space. We're, we're thinking more outwardly, more open, more expanded consciousness. And yes, you're meeting new people. New, new people are coming in who are of a similar frequency, a similar width band, if you want to put it like um, in that respect. Uh, so of a similar vibe. So some people that you may have been extremely good friends with over the years or and and you might just feel like you're slightly drifting apart and that's fine. It's just that everybody's on their own journey. Everybody's going their way and people are meeting new people and, it, and it's just how the world is now. It's a lot more of an open place where we, our soul families are now actually starting to come together. So that is week one preparation, finding that person who can help you, knowing that you're in exactly the right place and you're protected, but just uh, testing the waters, seeing what you would like to go towards, do some research, do, you know, if you're looking for a new job, look at something you wouldn't normally look at, don't just stay the same, so actually step outside your comfort zone a little bit. So the next card out, this is week two of April. You've got the world. Now the world means overseas trips, new opportunities, and literally the world's at the palm of your hand. So that's again, that leads on from the preparation now to really expanding out, expanding our energy out, meeting new people, connecting with the universal intelligent mind and actually putting out there what you hope for your um future. So this is communication. This could be online, phone, uh, physically, work, home, holidays, whatever you want to think about it. But it means everything opening up and communication around the world. It can mean trips. It can mean more money coming in. It can mean good luck. It's a really good vibe card. And basically you're being said, told that there is new opportunities coming and that the, the world's at the palm of your hand. Release all fears so you can move forward. Uh, Builder has come out with it. So Builder now. My feeling with this card is that actually you are now taking steps to build towards your future. Even if you are perhaps like me in my 50s um, and there is still new stuff coming. Whether you're, fifth, you know, young, 40s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever, there is still new stuff coming. Everything is so open now and expanded that if you have got it in your consciousness that there is new stuff coming, then there will be new stuff coming. It might be news about other people, but in your family, it might be uh, news about yourself. So you're, you actually have an ability, an innate ability within you to make these changes, to really open things up, to go forward, to step forward in a new way of being. Because you have, everybody has it. So you have the ability to build and create through your whole being, I would say. So it's not just that you're going to be using your hands, um, you you know, through the way you feel about the future and about now and everything. And also with your consciousness, you are actually going to and are already building for your future. So remember, week one is preparation. Week two, all about building, moving forward, the world completely opening up. Relationships have come up in this. So you will be going to new depths within relationships. Now, this is also relationships with yourself, how you feel and think about yourself. But it also is you will be shown things from people around you, things that may reflect more about yourself because of how you feel. Um, and But also people will surprise you in certain ways. So 
relationships is a big thing for week two of April as well. So I want to say there are new relationships coming. Like I said, actually week one is perfect, leading on to meeting new people. Uh, but also going to new depths in relationships you're already in. So also what has come out, a new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So again, this is about feeling that really good vibe and things really opening up, knowing that there's some brilliant stuff there for you. And it's a really good feeling week, week two of April. And the universe has come out. So if you are happen to be stressed by anything, give it to the universe. Just say, I'm not, I don't want to think about that. I'm going to hand it over to you. You deal with it and trust that actually the universe will deal with it in the best outcome possible for everybody. It works. It really works. So we're now going on to week three. Now, week three, we're coming up to another stage, another change, another way of releasing any old patterns and things like that so it's another change so all of that like week one and week two was the lead up to this new change so it's like the ending of the old but the beginning of the new and my feeling is yes we're still getting stuff coming up for us to heal physically but we're certainly, I don't know about you, but I've been getting it now for the last two weeks. There is stuff coming up that needs to be healed emotionally and mentally. So this is all patterns. I'm finding it myself that actually I am. So I'm, I, I'm fully aware of myself and I'm aware of the old patterns that start uh, that are still creeping in sometimes. So that then I know that that's something I need to work on and let go of. And this again, this is creating that new way of being. So week three, there is going to be um, the Wheel of Fortune has come up. So it, it is a completion phase. So it's like the ending of the old and a beginning of a new way of being. Again, there's more money, more money coming and trips. So still communications and trips and travel um, and things really open still and lots of lots of opportunities. But I do feel with this month, uh, this week, the th week three is about new beginnings, new changes coming in. Um, so we've got intuition. Follow your intuition. Really follow your intuition with yourself. Nobody else is the same as you. So it's time now to actually focus on listening to your own intuition. It's, it's important. And you and your soul knows what's best for you. So try and stay out of the mind and bring yourself down into the heart space and feel what you would like, how you would like to move forward, what you would like to do, feel it. Don't allow the mind to kick in. We want to engage the higher mind, which is connected to the heart, but not the ego mind or the monkey mind. So follow your intuition, follow your own gut feelings because your intuition is expanding, whether you like it or not. For anyone who's out there listening to this, who perhaps didn't believe in any of this stuff before, believe me, there are going to be things that will start happening to you where you will start questioning things. It's happening. There's no getting away from it. And it is going to cause blessed changes, really nice changes. And some, for some people, those changes might be painful because there are many, many people that are quite happy in just sticking to the same routine. That is not me. I like change. And if you hear or read my posts, you will know that I'm always saying that changes are good. It gives fresh new energy, a fresh new outlook. So there is changes coming that actually lead 
So it's, it's a little bit of a journey, but lead to many, many beautiful blessings. Environment has come out. So it's about being aware of the earth, being aware of the earth, nurture, protect, and teach other people about the animal kingdoms, the earth. Start now, if you haven't been doing this already, actually um, wherever you feel the need or wherever it pops up, start educating people about taking care of the earth more. We all need to be aware of this. It's really important. You are, every one of us is, if you're not already, it's time to step into it, an earth angel. And I, I mean that literally, looking after earth, taking care of our mother. She has nurtured us with everything that she gives freely, food, sustenance, air to breathe, beautiful oceans to swim in and rivers and water and everything else. But we need to actually start paying that back. I know many of us are, but there are still many that don't. Even, and I have been guilty of this in the past myself, you know when you get an apple and you've got that little bit of sticker on it, chucking that on the ground, it's a big no-no. Get hold of it, put it in the bin. So even the smallest little thing will help make a difference. That's what I'm trying to say. Purpose. Bring fulfillment and happiness into your life to inspire and empower others. So this is all about what you do yourself, you're educating other people. So how you behave, you're educating other, other people to behave in a good way. So if you're behaving in that beautiful, good way, Hank, come away. If you're behaving in that uh, positive, empowering way of nurturing and teaching and guidance and things like that, then you are teaching other people to behave in a similar way. Remember, a lot of what's going on now is all about reflection. So this is also a time, week three is also a time of contemplation about your purpose. What is, there's many people out there, what is my life purpose? Well, I can tell you now that everybody's life purpose is part of the ascension process and that is that as more and more people wake up there'll be more and more people wanting and helping and guiding other people to wake up and if you look at it another way as more and more people wake up and their consciousness is expanded they're connected fully to the heart so they're being the best person they possibly can be and that also is going to teach other people around them. And they will also want to help other people become that way as well. It's not about forcing anyone else to change. It's a natural process. But the more we are, that best we possibly can be, that is the vibration that's in our energy field. And that is what we're giving out. And other people will pick it up even if they don't know it. And if you happen to come across someone who is angry and not feeling those good vibes, it's actually what's going on within them. That you, you know, we've got to remember now that there are people out there that are hurting, and they often take it out on other people verbally or physically sometimes. And you know, maybe we should be a little bit more compassionate instead of reacting. So, yes, what is my life purpose? Ask yourself this. What is my life purpose? And what can I do to make this world a better place? So this week three is all about change, making changes within yourself, changes about the environment, about how we think about the environment. I see my video has stopped.
I hope you can still hear me. I can see the clock ticking, so I'm really hoping that you can still hear me. So I'm going to carry on. But the, the actual picture is frozen. Well, that's fine. So we're now moving on to week four. Now this is where there is still going to be some stuff coming up. The truth is coming out in everything. So you might find out some news, whether it's personally or about someone else that might be a bit shocking, that might be a surprise. Um, things are being triggered now. So we will release the old patterns, the mental stuff. So there might be an event that um, comes up in your life that makes you, gives you a wobble, as what I call them, um, and makes you really think about the way you're behaving um, and almost like a little test from the universe to see if you have made those changes. Um, so there is things also to do with the heart. So this is to do with the mind and the heart and old patterns all being released. So old ego stuff, old hurts popping up and even stuff in your physical world now. Things coming up that need to be acknowledged and released, whether it's in the physical world, the mental, the emotional. Just take this on board. You've got warrior come up. So have the strength to fight the good fight and stand your ground. And believe in the power of truth. The warrior is strong within you. So you're being guided that when these events come up, which is going to help us release all this mental stuff, when they pop up, you're being guided to stand in your own power, be that sovereign being, know that you're not actually attached to anyone else, even though we're in a collective and and you know, we're heading towards unity. But you are in charge of the way you react. Detox has come out. So it's a time to detox. It's a time to really take care of yourself, nurture yourself, detox. Detox the mental stuff, detox the physical body. Really, really focus on not only being the best person you can be in your emotional field but also in every aspect of you physically being fit feeling good if you've got lots of aches and pains and stuff coming in change your diet a bit and actually you know do a detox do a mental detox focus on being mindful how are you thinking how do you think so this is a time of working on self because we're clearing out all of that old stuff we do not need anymore. And believe me, once we've done that, and it's going to be fairly quick, it might be a few weeks that where things pop up, but it's going to be fairly quick, especially for the ego and the mental mind stuff. Divine magic will happen because the more we release the higher the vibration we go, the higher the dimension we go up, the more we can release all of that stuff that does not serve us. That could be old belief patterns that we've learned, old habits, not taking care of ourselves, because that's, that's a big one for many people, that we've been taught, a lot of us have been taught to take care of other people. And it has become a habit that you put yourself last well actually it's time to put yourself first and really really take care of yourself and the more we can do this the more we're teaching younger people do it to do it as well and I'm not saying it's a selfish thing or anything like that we all have still got that natural nature to uh, uh, for oneness with other people and helping other people but it's still important to take care of yourself divine magic is going to happen so extra magic surrounds all of this healing process and this releasing and flowers have come up with it now let's think about flowers who doesn't think flowers are beautiful 
Look at the colours. Look at all the wonderful, wonderful colours that flowers have. Many, many different types of flowers, many different shapes. A lot of it's sacred geometry, a lot of it's the colour system. And they have their energy, they're living things. So flowers actually will help you get through this time. So we're talking about the colours of flowers. Having flowers in your house if you love flowers. Treat yourself, buy yourself some flowers. Just looking at flowers in nature, if you don't like to pick them, go, go around a garden or something. Go, there are open gardens around in different places. And go and have a walk around a garden. And look at the flowers. Look at the flowers also of the weeds because some of them are beautiful. And connect with flowers. Actually connect with the energy of the flowers. Look at how they grow up from that beautiful seed and they come up into that stem with leaves and growth and beautifulness and colour and then they the bees come along and take what they need from the flowers and take it off and spread it everywhere. Look how beautiful flowers are and the job they do. You are a flower and it's time to treat yourself like a flower. Do that internal work. Look after yourself. Do some colour therapy on yourself. Do some meditations which are to do with colour and nurturing of self. Honestly, that is week four of April and that will be preparing us to go into May. Now, these are the cards that fell out while I was shuffling. So, again, this is this is really, honestly, this is like sync, uh, a confirmation of what I've just said. Watch your thoughts. It's about the end week of April is more about really focusing on your thoughts, you're being mindful about the way you think about yourself, about the way you think about other people, about things in life, how you react to things, being totally mindful, watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So again, releasing any fears. Why waste time and energy thinking about things that haven't even happened yet, when you could be focusing all that energy on creating something that you want to happen makes sense doesn't it worthiness know that you are worthy to receive all the beautiful things that this 3d has to offer and actually we're already in 4d and 5d so what 4d and 5d have to offer many people are stepping up beyond the 5d and yes has come out. Your intuition is, is correct. Take action accordingly. So again, that's another thing. Listen to your own intuition, not what somebody else tells you. You are the best leader of yourself. Practice has come out as well. So if you're thinking about I don't know, getting a bit of a buzz back in life or doing something different or, or even re- living an old craft or an old skill of some sort, whether it perhaps something to do with music, maybe you used to play a piano, maybe you used to sing, maybe you used to knit, maybe you used to draw and paint, whatever it is, and you, if you get the urge to get creative again, practice and you'll soon be there well away going forward. But practice with all things in life and it takes practice and time 21 days to form a habit. So let's form some really good habits. And we don't have to keep them permanent. So you're just watching your thoughts, keeping that positive mindset, keeping that open heart. Do that and focus on it every day for 21 days at least. And you will have already trained your subconscious mind to propel you forward in that way of being. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. This is for April. It's going to be an eventful month in many, many ways. The last 
week is definitely going to be a clearing out week, We're getting ready for May. And, and some of that clearing out might even last into May. But it's all good because every time we clear something out, we're making space for something new. So have fun on your journey. Lots of love from me. If you would like to know about anything else that I do or my services, I'm in the middle of changing my website at the moment because it, it needs new energy. I've got some also, I've got some new services that I am going to offer, uh, which are very different, I will say. Um, very different indeed. So if you would like to go and have a look, I'm hoping to put them up over the next week or so. So if you'd like to keep just popping back if I haven't done it yet um, and take a look, my website is www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. I am also on Facebook. I am on LinkedIn. I am on Instagram. Uh, I, I am on Google+, Plus, but I don't go on there very often because things take a long time to upload for me for some reason. I don't know why, but... And I'm on Twitter. Yes, I keep forgetting about Twitter, but I'm on Twitter as well. So please, if you like, if you like um, this reading, please come and either follow me on any of my social media. I'm on YouTube as well, of course. This is going to go up on YouTube. Um, and keep popping back to see what I'm doing. Because remember... My mission is to help you, whether it's through coaching, healing, intuitive readings, whatever way it is. And by helping you, I'm also helping humanity and the earth. And that's how it goes. So lots of love, everyone, and take care. Bye for now.